different days. Under different circumstances. This would be totally awesome. Summer begins. It's time to live up to our name. This is our Hail Mary. With the end game. You know your teams, you know your missions. Look out for each other. Oh, God. What's up, regular size man? <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Rated PG-13. Tickets on sale now. In 10 days. We are getting the whole team. Yeah? Yeah. Hang on! I like this one. <laughs> Avengers Endgame. Tickets on sale now. So, if you're new to the channel, we are giving away tickets for Avengers Endgame or Avengers 4. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on and let me know down below what is going on. So, what is popping YouTube? What is good YouTube? What's you here with another video on the Avengers franchise? So, the Avengers movie comes out worldwide one week on Friday, which is the 26th of April. Marvel wants you to know this because they've dropped so many trailers tv spots we got another two today pepper waits for tony's arrival which they are kind of they are kind of really revealing with the names of the tv spots and the other one was tony stark returns so if you remember when the first trailer dropped for this movie everyone thought tony stark was going to die on the benatar everyone was like yeah it's going to be pepper pot she's going to rescue him she's going to put the rescue suit on etc well, this doesn't actually mean that that's not going to happen, but the TV spot is called Pepper Waits for Tony. And like I said, a lot of these trailers are misleading. Marvel misleading. Kevin Feige's misleading. Russo's, they're all misleading. Don't believe anything that they say until you watch the movie because they're all misleading. So Pepper is the person that was CGI'd out of the scene when they were looking up. So I presume if this is a real scene, but you can't really take anything at plain sight when it comes to Marvel. So she is looking up at the Benatar. Obviously, apparently, there's 22 days between Infinity War and Endgame. Which, 22 days. So he's been gone for three weeks. Three weeks. And she's acting like she was never going to see him again. But he did leave a death message for her. So he has accepted the fact that he could die. He's always been ready to die in every single Avengers movie. Which is something that is really credible about his character so we do get some new looks at my boy hawkeye and natasha romaroff they are smiling at each other like they are lovers we get some different angles which is pretty cool really can't wait to watch this movie and then we get another tv spot which is tony stark arriving on earth but i don't actually think that's what's happening because tony stark is getting out of a car he's got his shades on it looks like his injuries are healed it looks like he's going to shake his hand with steve rogers and they look quite friendly, but you got to understand this is set in a post-decimation, post-universe where Thanos just decimated half of the world. So they've got to bury their Civil War beef, which was really childish beef, if you ask me. It was a movie about people throwing their toys out of a pram. The most childish movie ever. Watch you. It's a comic book movie. I know, but the principle of the movie is pretty childish. Let me know down below. So we also get a pretty cool image of Iron Man in the Mark 85, which is interesting. Robert Downey Jr. also confirmed and verified this today on his verified Twitter account. He's one of the exclusive people that have the magical blue tick that makes you credible on the internet if you have one of them blue ticks on the internet people look up to you like you're a hero or something but if you do go on his twitter account you will see that he did share something and he literally is confirming that it is the mark 85 suit which is pretty cool but we already knew that so it is pretty cool but i do think they're starting to reel that much new footage that a lot of the stuff that we're seeing are actually it's actually fake what well i've said this from the start i've called out fakeness i've called out fake scenes misdirection i even think there's a massive amount of money in the marketing budget to film a lot of fake scenes but they wouldn't do this they would like the wakanda hulk scene was a tester they got away with that 
So literally all these TV spots could be fake. No, I don't really think all, they are, all of them are. But I do think a good majority of these TV spots are fake. Then we get War Machine talking to Ant-Man, trying to be funny, calling him Little Man or something like that. I, I'm just paraphrasing out of what they said. But that is pretty funny because obviously Ant-Man goes giant and becomes Giant Man. So it is pretty funny. So guys, I'm going to try and do longer videos and get over more context because they are dropping these 10, 10 second trailers. And I can't really make short videos because I don't really think it's worth my time. So like I said before, guys, do not spoil this movie. There is a fake leak out there. I believe it's fake. As I said before, Marvel have said on record, Mr. Kevin Feige, the Oracle himself, said they are marketing this movie very, very differently. What happens if this leak that emerged... Now, we're not going to talk about what happened in this leak, but what happened if this whole leak is fake footage? Because I know the Infinity War leak last year, you know the scene where Steve Rogers turned up to help Vision and Scarlet Witch fight off Proxima Midnight. Yeah, that scene. That was leaked. But I'm starting to think, like, if people have watched the movie and I've reached out to a bunch of people, and it does appear that some people would have watched the movie, but most people will be watching it at the LA premiere. That, I've been told, is a very small venue compared to last year to the fact that some people who worked on the movie won't be attending it because it's that small. And then they're doing screeners all around the world on the 23rd. And then obviously most people can watch it midnight the 24th. But I'm starting to think to myself, if this did leak, is it fake? Stick with me one minute. Because what is suggested did leak, it just seems too obvious. Now, the screenwriters, Stephen and Christopher, have always said, you've not got it. You've not got it. You've not got it. You are nowhere near this. No one online has worked it out. So I'm thinking, is this a fake leak that was leaked on purpose to get people talking about this. Where am I going with this? Well, Mark Ruffalo said on the Avengers Endgame tour that leaking the first 20 or 10 minutes of Thor Ragnarok was the best marketing tool they've ever used. So did Marvel leak fake scenes in order to make you think you know what the movie is about or is it real now i don't want anyone in the comment section to actually talk about what specifically happens because i will delete comments uh team war stew i've got some moderators who will literally delete any comment like that anything to do with what happened no spoilers down below guys we are not about spoilers we're just talking about the potential possibility now i know the russo bros said there isn't much deleted footage so you're telling me a three-hour movie that possibly could have been four hours. You filmed back-to-back, -back, Avengers 3 and Avengers 4. You also did multiple reshoots. You're telling me that there was no added footage that could have been worked on, but War Stew, they wouldn't do this. Well, literally, like I said, they are marketing this movie very different. And at the moment, all we've seen, the people I chat to online, they are ramming TV spots, trailers down your face. We had to wait till December for the first one. And now we are 10 days out. Every single day or every other day, we are getting TV spots. But they are trying to keep this so tip so tight lip yet they're ramming footage down our face the big mystery who saved tony stark does tony stark make it back to earth is that our tony stark is that a tony stark from another reality so many questions that people's mind could explode could they have leaked some fake footage is it fake or would it have cost too much money for them to do that i understand vfx special effects is usually the biggest part of a movie's budget and it costs the most money takes the most time they could still do that. Like I said, guys, I don't know what's in this footage, but to me, if something did leak, it is fake. Because if it wasn't fake, you wouldn't be able to see it online. If it was real, literally, they would shut everything down completely. So guys, let me know. Is Captain Marvel the real person that saves Tony Stark? Or did Tony Stark save himself? Because although they are looking up, is Pepper, if this scene is real, is she looking at Captain Marvel? Or is she looking at Tony Stark? Because she's seen spaceships, she's seen all these new suits, she would not be amazed by a simple Benatar, would she? Would she be, would she? No. She's literally been in the company for such a long time, she would not be impressed. So is she looking at Captain Marvel, or is she amazed because her boy, Tony Stark, has come home? It's a very weird one. And also, I don't think this is actually a scene when Tony Stark arrives back on Earth. But that's what the TV spot was called when I found it on YouTube. But he's coming out of a car. If he was just coming back to Earth, 
He would be rocking up on the Benatar with his girl, with his new best friend forever, Nebula. It's interesting. And let me know down below, guys. Are you loving the Mark 85? What do you think of these fake white suits? Or are they stealth suits? Or are they fake suits? It's really hard to define what is going on. But like I said, guys, we will be talking about this movie right up to the movie comes out. And then we'll be doing a non-spoiler review, spoiler review, post-credits, Avengers 5, Spider-Man Far From Home, Eternals, The Black Widow Movie, Duck Strange 2, all these kind of movies. So don't worry, guys. This channel isn't going anywhere. I do read your comment. And someone's like, well, it doesn't matter. Your channel won't be around after... Avengers Endgame is gone. Well, no, bros, because this channel was DC. This channel is going to keep going regardless to one movie. It's not centered around one movie. Yes, at the moment, we do a lot of content around that one movie, but that's because it's the biggest event of the year. We have done loads of stuff on this channel. We even did videos about Bird Box. Yeah, I know most of you probably didn't see them, but we did videos about Bird Box. We did the Shazam review, Captain Marvel, Into Spideyverse, Venom, loads of stuff. This channel isn't like other channels. We Yeah, we focus on Avengers 4 at the moment, but we have done so many other things. There's over 1,000 videos on this channel. Flash, Arrow, Justice League, Aquaman, so many different stuff. So don't worry, guys. This channel is going to be sticking around after this movie. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. You know that helps the channel grow. We are so close to hitting 70,000 subscribers. Yeah, this channel might not be the fastest is growing but it's the most consistent channel so i will catch you in another video very soon catch ya later